Now these vacations, if it's a kosher destination, that's going to lead you to get closer to Hashem, to, uh, to do something good in the world, no problem. Enjoy the vacation. If you're single, you'll have a responsibility of a wife and kids, no problem. But if it's a non-kosher destination with non-kosher activities, then what do you want? It's only going to lead you to bad. I have one kid contacted me just a few days ago. Grew up in a really religious Haredi house. Haredi, more religious than me. This kid said to me, he says, I don't know what happened to my life, but in a matter of three months, my whole life is upside down. So what happened in three months? The whole life, 25 years. Religious, hat, beard, payers, everything good. Rabbi Akiva. No, three months, everything goes upside down. He goes, ah, oh, listen. I don't know, I had to, my, my, my dad told me to look for a career, I don't know what to do, I learned my whole life, maybe I'm going to go to college. So, he signed up to go to college. Now, colleges today are not like colleges that they were 100 years ago, we actually go to learn. Colleges today is like legal prostitution. That's what colleges are today. I'm serious, I went to college, I know what they are. Colleges today is legal prostitution. First four years, all you know, all you learn is how, how much you can drink and how much drugs you can do and how many new partners you're gonna have every week because you're competing with your friends. That's what you learn in college. You do not learn anything about what you're gonna use in the world. You don't learn a profession because you wanna learn a profession, you have to go to grad school. You have to spend another fifty, hundred thousand dollars $100,000. You learn nothing in college. That's why Torah says don't go to college. You wanna learn something, you need to learn a specific a task, you want to be an accountant, a lawyer, a doctor, you don't need to go to one of these colleges. You could do homeschool. You could learn college at home. Hashem provided you a way to do good things at home without going to these uh, places. Why? Because these places, unfortunately, are full of people that live a life that's the opposite of Torah. The girls are in a contest. Who's going to have more boyfriends? The guys are in a contest. Who's going to have more girlfriends? And everybody meets every single night, seven days a week, at a place where all that happens is that. So, this young man that never saw anything like this in his life, went to college in three months. In three months, he never, he never even looked at a girl. In three months, he became addicted. Addicted to intimacy to the extent where he started going to prostitutes. It wasn't enough college. He started going to other things. Why? Because of Abutai Karim. Rabbi Yochanan says in the Gemara, Ever katan yesh ba'adam. There's a small member in a man. If you satiate it, you feed it, it'll always be hungry. If you starve it, it'll always be satisfied, it'll be satiated. Meaning, the more active you are, the more you're gonna want. The less active you are, the less you're gonna want, and you're only gonna want it at the appropriate times. When it's a mitzvah, because it's with your wife, with your husband, then it's a mitzvah, you're actually fulfilling a mitzvah from the Torah. Poor go. But when it's not a mitzvah, guess what? All you're doing is you're destroying yourself. And these places that the Yetzirah has created as your surroundings, whether it's the nightclubs or it's the, uh, it's the uh, colleges, the, all of these places are different traps for the Yetzirah to put in. Now, if you want to do good things, you want to learn, you want to study, you want to do things, there are plenty of kosher ways to do it. You could ask me for guidance if you want to give you plenty of different references and places and so on and so forth. But I promise you, if you want to live a kosher life, you have an opportunity to do it. If you want to take your chances, go ahead and do it. But I'm telling you, you're going to lose. And the reason why, the reason why I'm confident to say that is because you see the world today that we live in is full of losers. There's an 80 plus percent rate of divorce rates. Almost 100% of people are miserable. 80% get divorced, the rest of them are still miserable, but married. They just don't want to get divorced because of the money, or they don't want to get divorced because they can't afford it, or they can't afford it. Point being, Abutai, is people are miserable. Why? Because they don't have a Kadosh Baruch Hu in their life. When you don't have a Kadosh Baruch Hu in your life, it is impossible to be happy, because your life is going to be full of mistakes. Point being, Abutai, Karim, is that life doesn't need to be so difficult. It doesn't need to be so difficult. It's just that most of us are putting the traps in front of ourselves by making decisions that are against the shit. Let me know uh, what you think and make sure to share it. 
because other people need to learn too.